please. Every time that I've gone for a job interview since I cut my hair, which was two years ago in September, my mom has come up to me and said, Rebecca, are you going to wear a dress for interview? And I say, no, I'm not. I'm going to wear a collared shirt and men's pants. My mom says, oh, you should probably leave that behind to see success. And I'm like, they're going to get what they're going to get. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Anyone else? Feel comfortable sharing? Yes, please. I have uh, what some people call a very weird sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has that time got me in trouble. Okay. Uh, so that one has a leave behind. Okay. Sure. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, please. I'm a school social worker, and in the community, being a social worker, sometimes in certain settings, people will think that although I am a Democrat and kind of liberal, they always assume that I'm way to the left all the time and everything I look at in my world, okay. and wouldn't consider that I might sometimes be somebody with a little bit more of a conservative. You point, and also it's because of them and the taxes they pay that I have a job in that's mm -hmm. you know, kind of their gift to me. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> yes, please. There are times that I don't in the community let people know I'm a teacher if they're putting on schools or if um, time for school school shopping. like being an extrovert or an introvert, uh, being left-handed or right-handed, things like that. But think about your particular diagrams right now and think about how they may impact or perhaps do impact your ability to do your jobs well. So I'm going to give you all three of these questions and again I'm going to have you talk amongst uh, yourselves. And then can you identify relationships that have been harmed or diminished because of a particular identity? and relationships that have actually been improved because of particular identities. And then the third one. What are the ways, either obviously or subtly, that you're made aware of an identity being welcome or not? So again, how does your identity diagram uh, impact your effectiveness or your ability to do your job and lead in particular roles? How does it impact your relationships? Which have been harmed and diminished and which have been improved? And then, what are the ways you are made aware if it's welcome or not? Have that conversation, please. Oops. 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 Oops.